Hey guys, it's John Thompson here with Through the Leash Dog Behavior and Training. Today we're going to talk about one of the more misunderstood tools in the dog training community. We're going to get into the muzzle, why it's such a scary tool, how it can be helpful and useful in our everyday life, and we'll even get into a little bit of muzzle training and show you how you can implement it with your own dog. Let's start with what is a muzzle. A muzzle is just a device that's used to help control a dog's biting. We use them commonly when we have fear biters and we're in foreign or uncomfortable situations so that we can prevent the dog from making a mistake that could possibly land them in big trouble. Muzzles don't hurt the dog at all. Actually, a lot of them are designed for comfortability and some even provide space or holes inside that will allow the dog to feed and drink throughout the day. If that's the case, then where does the negative stigma that's attached to the muzzle come from? I think a lot of it has to do with TV and the commercialization of dogs and dog training. Uh, we oftentimes see our big aggressive dogs or canines and such wearing a muzzle. And so when we see a dog in the neighborhood or at the vet office with a muzzle, we naturally assume that it's a bad dog. And that's not the case. So today we're gonna show you guys how a muzzle can be properly and effectively used in your everyday lives and how to introduce it to your dog so that it doesn't have a negative stigma or association attached for them. So what's the right muzzle for you? Honestly, all muzzles serve the same purpose, to prevent the dog from biting. But we want to make sure that we have a muzzle that allows us to still do the things that we need day to day. And so we recommend a basket muzzle. A standard basket muzzle comes in a few different sizes. You'll find the one that properly fits your dog. You want to make sure that their snout can come up to the end, that it seats snugly along the base of their nose, and that they're able to get their food and water and tongue and access through the feeding port. So before introducing the muzzle to the dog, first keep in mind that it's not natural for a dog to not be able to use its mouth. And so most of our pets, when we put the muzzle on initially, they're gonna hate it because it's restricting what they wanna do most when they're unsure, which is bite. And so when we first introduce it, we're gonna find our dog's favorite treat and we're gonna use that to associate the muzzle with a really good thing. When introducing the muzzle, you wanna make sure that you have whatever your dog's favorite treat is on hand. So today we're using Spoiled Dog Boss's Licking Lip Liver. That happens to be one of Alfie's favorites. We're gonna associate the treat and him receiving it with his good behavior while wearing the muzzle. Once we make that association, he'll be more than willing to wear that muzzle because he will do anything in the world for his lip licking liver. Here we go. Alfie, come on. Sit. All right, so we have to first set a boundary. Simple boundary, sit, stay. Regardless of the distraction, sit and stay mean just that. And so we have to start off with giving our dog some structure around the introduction of the muzzle. All right, now I'm gonna slide the muzzle on. Once the muzzle's seated, I'll buckle it immediately after. I will reward Alfie with a treat, tell him good boy, remove the muzzle, and we'll rinse and repeat a few times, and you will see as slowly but surely, he will learn to accept wearing the muzzle despite how uncomfortable it might make him initially. Now, it's good to associate it with the command so that he knows that when he, the muzzle's going on, he's getting a treat for wearing it, and so we're gonna just tell him to get dressed. So Alfie, get dressed. Here we go, we slide the muzzle on. Now, he jumps up because he's not sure what's going on. I'm gonna use a normal correction to reinforce what it is I'm asking, no, Alfie sit, and we're gonna try it again. Remember that correction is not bad. Dogs do not mind correction. We have to tell them what we expect and give correction to do so. Come on. There we go. That was better. I'm actually gonna reward that because he didn't break his sit stay. I'm gonna require that he keep that sit throughout the process of me putting the muzzle on and taking the muzzle off. Alfie, get dressed. Good boy. There we go. First repetition. He sat, he stayed. I put the muzzle on. I took the muzzle off. I'll reward that. We don't want to make this traumatic. And so if you see that he's fighting with you and he's resisting the muzzle, don't force it on. Ease your way into the training process. Remember that you're teaching. So here we go. Repetition number two. Let's see how far we can get. Alfie, get dressed. Good. I'm going to strap it this time. This will be a little bit more farther, a little progression farther than we went last time. Good boy! I'm gonna pull it off. Good boy! Good boy! I dropped this treat, but we'll get that for him. 
Good boy, Alfie, sit. All right. I will try that one more time. Alfie, get dressed. Good boy. I'm going to strap it up. Alfie, stay. Good boy. Good boy. Get that, get that. No. So he pulls the muzzle off. There's the discomfort. Alfie, sit. We'll reinforce what we were asking. We're not going to beat them up for it. Dogs don't learn through punishment or discipline. They learn through consistency. And so what he'll learn is that ultimately, even once the treats are passed, the muzzle has to stay on. Alfie, sit. Alfie, get dressed. Good boy. Now it's good that we have verbal markers like leave it. And so we're gonna use that verbal marker here. Now that we have the muzzle on, this is where it would strap in here, but we won't need to do that for now. That is a good boy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. And so slowly but surely, we're forming a, a good affiliation with the muzzle. Now it helps that Alfie understands his verbal markers. Me giving him the leave it was the indicator that I wanted him to wear the muzzle. In the grand scheme of things, the dog's always gonna do what it is that you ask of them if they understand it. I'm gonna go ahead now and strap this back part in. This is just the anchor. And there we go, Alfie is now muzzled. And we began his muzzle training. This was just one session. We'll do this over and over again until he gets really comfortable wearing it. Now once the muzzle's on, it's a good idea to just move around. Let the dog get comfortable just moving around wearing the muzzle. Letting him know that it's there, it's not going anywhere. Kind of like the leash. It's an extension of the handler. So all in all, the muzzle is a great training tool. If we have a rescue dog or a dog that we adopted and brought into the home from whatever situation and we're not sure how he responds, introducing a muzzle early will give us just a second set of hands to keep our dog from putting himself in unfortunate situations. Um, a lot of times our dogs respond out of fear, not out of aggression. And when a dog is scared, they bite. By implementing a muzzle in your daily routine, even though most of the times we won't need it, if we ever do, we know that our dog will be comfortable and okay with wearing it. For more tips and tricks, go to our website, throughtheleash.com.